and I'm sorry that I can no longer do this. I'm sorry that I gotta go, that YouTube has taken from me, that Griffin has taken from me what what I love. And this was basically one of the few things I had in life that I genuinely loved. Something that I loved doing with all my heart. And now I have to say goodbye to it. What's up guys? Hope you all are having a great day today. You know, this is a video that I got quite a few recommendations to make. And while personally, I'm pretty excited because, you know, we are going to be talking about one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, okay? In case you haven't heard of this dude, you know, he is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Hippo Zoned. It's easy to sit from a place of judgment when you don't live my life. I'm a 30-year-old dude working for $12 an hour living with his mom. But in case you have never heard of Hippo Zoned in your entire life and have no idea who the hell this guy is, you know, I don't really blame you the guy only had like 2,000 subs in his peak and ever since then his channels have only gotten to like maybe a hundred or 200 subs before he eventually deletes them after he starts talking shit and you know we go back and forth so this guy has a very long history with me on my channel I guess you could say he's kind of a recurring meme at this point you know the last time I covered hippo zone is when he put out like a legitimate death threat against me and detailed how he planned to basically hunt me down like this guy is completely unhinged but the thing is I don't take it seriously whatsoever you know I don't have genuine beef with this dude whatsoever like he hates me which I mean that's fine you can hate me if you want but you know he seems to think like my sole purpose in life is to ruin his life when you know I've had plenty of opportunities to do that haven't really taken them but you know this guy absolutely hates me so recently he made yet another triumphant return to YouTube and this time it was about two or three weeks ago and at the very beginning he decided to let me know that he was back on YouTube by heading to the comment section on my most recent video surrounding him leaving a comment saying quote I'm back and at this point my interest was peaked so I had to go over to his channel hit him with a quick subscribe so I could keep up to date on all that quality ass content he's known to put out and well let's just say this is probably one of the shortest runs he's ever had with a YouTube channel and overall it was very very entertaining but this most recent chapter in the hippo zone drama basically ended with him threatening to sue every single person that makes fun of him online and if you think I'm joking I'm not dude I really cannot make this shit up and it's, it's getting to the point where it's harassment to the point where I can take it to the authorities. I can take it to the cops. But yeah, dude, as you can see, we are definitely dealing with a very low IQ person. But, you know, I didn't really instigate anything. I didn't talk about him. I didn't share his channel or anything like that. So, you know, this completely happened on his own accord. But anyway, fast forward to about a week ago at this point, Hippozone decided he was going to live stream on Twitch. And while he was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare online, talking to some random people, and while at the time he was also drunk, because as he admitted himself, Now, I was 26 beers deep. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, really take any pride in that anyway yeah he got really upset with some random people in a modern warfare lobby talking shit to him and just to give you some more context just take a listen to this, this garbage. oh this guy's garbage because he got shot in the back by somebody spraying an lmg really this guy's garbage <laughs> I don't have to leave. So yeah, he was getting really mad at some random people in Modern Warfare. He rage quit his match, and you know what the normal person, you know, someone with a state of mind like Hippo Zone would do? Someone known in the past for really just handling negative situations extremely well? He decided the best course of action was to literally punch a hole in his monitor live on stream and then smash his mouse as well. You know, just an absolute brainlit move. But yeah, here's the clip. <laughs> I broke my $300 monitor. I can't afford this shit! Definitely not one of his better moments in live streaming, but you know, it is definitely up there from when he turned his bed into a domestic abuse victim when he could not find his headset. I just had it on! And also the time he smashed his phone live on stream because he could not find his SIM card and blamed me for it. My SIM card was in the top fucking slot here and it's gone. The slot is fucking empty. And I had no idea when that happened because my phone keeps turning off and fucking on. 
but yeah this guy does not really have a great history of live streaming and on top of that you know I'm not going to show you the clips here but there is two different occasions where this guy has literally whipped his dick out on stream and pissed into a bottle like this guy is completely unhinged when he starts streaming and he is his own worst enemy but anyway no one really thought this clip was anything that bad like everyone was just saying it was funny or whatever like it's a funny stream clip like a stream fail or whatever people share those all the time it's not anything personal people just like sharing funny moments on the internet go figure but anyway someone by the name of Anubis uploaded this clip to YouTube and while someone shared it with me on discord so I decided to share the video through my community post because I thought it was funny you know a lot of people in my audience like the hippo zone video so I figured I'm not gonna make a video on this guy I'll just share the clip so people who are interested can go and see it you know not a big deal whatsoever but apparently this angered hippo zone that someone had the audacity to clip his live stream and upload it to YouTube so he decided to make a response video to someone literally uploading a clip of his live stream but in this response video he basically says that you know he's being quote-unquote harassed by people uploading public live stream clips to YouTube and says he's going to get the authorities involved if it doesn't stop like this guy is actually threatening to call the cops on people who re-upload clips from his public live streams like you really cannot make this shit up and to make it even better the live stream is still viewable on his twitch channel you can go to his twitch channel and the live stream where he punches a hole in this monitor is still up so it's not even like you couldn't find this any other place it's not like this clip was from a deleted live stream so that makes his claim even more of a joke dude like this guy is completely unhinged and like i showed you at the beginning of this video he legitimately says he's going to call the cops on people for quote-unquote harassment you know what i, I kind of want to make this video as short as possible but i've had enough i, I really fucking had enough and it's, it's getting to the point where it's harassment to the point where I can take it to the authorities. I can take it to the cops. But I'm not going to do that because it takes effort. And honestly, I don't want to fucking do that. It, it just it require, it requires too much on my part. But it, it is getting to the point where it's borderline psychotic. I do find it very ironic that Hippozone is willing to call anyone other than himself psychotic, especially considering the displays we have seen on his live stream several times. But you know, this video only gets better. Now, we're not going to watch the entire response video, but you know, I do want to highlight some key moments here that I thought were very funny. He, he made the video of me breaking my monitor because I don't take accountability. Um, when did I not take accountability for breaking my monitor? Yeah, I fucked up. I got drunk and I put my fist through it. Mistakes happen. Yeah, dude, I just really hate it. You know, it happens all the time. Let's be honest, dude. You know, you just start drinking some beers on the live stream. And then the next thing you know, your hand is through your monitor because you get pissed off, dude. You know, just a daily occurrence in the hippo zone household, I guess. Can I afford another one? Yes. Do I have another one? Yes. Am I, do I regret the decision? Yes. It was one of the many dumb decisions that I made drinking. I can't afford this shit. Now I was 26 beers deep. I, I don't, I don't, I don't really take any pride in that in fact uh, that is bad and I, and I shouldn't be able to drink to that level but shit happens all right choices are made mistakes are made life is what it is and I'm living my life the way I want to now yeah, guys, in all honesty, we really shouldn't be out here hating, dude. Hippo is just living his best life, dude. He's living the life that he wants to live, drinking 26 light beers a night, and then going into a drunken rampage where he smashes his expensive electronics. And to make it even worse, he was drinking light beer, too, which, you know, if you've never had light beer in your entire life, you're doing something right. But I'm absolutely fucking tired of everyone saying, oh, Hippo, this is all your fault. If you just apologize, people would leave you alone. No the fuck they wouldn't. Even if, they, even if I had apologized, no one would still leave me alone. Everyone would be like, well, it's too late. You should have apologized right away. Or blah, 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 this, blah, blah. You know what? No one gives a fuck. A new bitch, just leave me the fuck alone. All of you, leave me the fuck alone. Griffin, leave me the... Like it's like an addiction for him. Every single time he starts talking about anything drama related, he has to bring my name up because up to this point, he didn't even know I was involved. He didn't know that I made my community post. So I just really find it funny, dude. You know, I have that much free real estate in this dude's head, and I'm not gonna lie, dude, it feels really good. It, it, it's absolutely insane right now that you people have done everything in your power. 
You humiliate me when I've done that on my own. I've humiliated myself. And yet you still want to keep coming back. Trying to, Everyone's trying to get famous over Hippozone. I mean, I honestly cannot believe that this dude actually thinks that people are trying to clout chase off of him. He had 55 subscribers on YouTube before he deleted his channel and 40 followers on Twitch, dude. You are irrelevant. The only reason people give a shit about you is because I made those videos on you, dude. That's the reality you have to live with for the rest of your life. That the only reason people even give a shit about you is because someone that you absolutely hate made a YouTube video about you and gave you more clout than you had ever gotten on your own. So, you know, it honestly feels good. But at the same time, this guy is absolutely fucking crazy if he thinks anyone is getting famous from a hippo zone. No, people just enjoy laughing at you, bro. Go pick on fucking DSP! I, honestly, I know I'm a mess, but DSP begs for money on the daily. No one gets on his ass for that. I have never once asked anyone for anything. So leave me the fuck alone. I love that immediate contradiction where he's just like, I've never asked anyone for anything, but leave me alone right now. Bringing up someone else does not excuse what you've done, and that's exactly what you're trying to do. Like, oh, look how much worse this person is. So don't shit on me. Like, dude, the stuff you have done makes DSP look tame. Like, honestly, I don't blame DSP for asking for money online. Like, shit, if people are dumb enough to give it to him, I mean, mad respect for him for getting the bag. But dude, you're just a complete asshole. Like, I, I, at this point... I can't. I, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to fucking start filing harassment charges and, and send the documents to YouTube and everyone else. And I mean, I don't want to have to do that, but it's getting out of control and I'm fucking I'm just tired of it. I can't believe it, guys. We are forcing his hand to do something that he does not want to do, guys. Like, how could we? How could we do this to our good pal Hippo Zoned? But it just shows you also, like, for the rest of this video, he goes on talking about how, like, the Epic Games store succeeded. He was right. Everyone who complained about him was wrong. It didn't matter in the long run, but it just shows you he cannot move on. Like, that shit was over a year ago. No one's talking about the Fortnite store anymore. It's basically considered a failure at this point. Everything that releases on it comes to Steam at some point because it sells like shit. And anyway, like, no one cares about it anymore. No one's talking about it. But he cannot move on. His mind is still stuck in that drama and cannot just let it go. Oh my god, I can't say how embarrassed I am to be a fucking PC gamer. All my flaws aside, you guys are a bunch of bitches. And when you don't get your way, you cry and whine until you do. And that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna enjoy my beer, finish my game, and you can go suck a dick. Go suck on that. So, you know, that's the end of this video for today. That is the update on the latest chapter of the Hippo Zone drama. But anyway, as always, I'm not going to encourage anyone to go harass him, quote unquote, because, you know, that's not the purpose of these videos. You know, it's to have fun online and just laugh at some stupid shit, okay? That's the main purpose here. That's what it's always been. Like, I have nothing wrong with this dude personally. Like, Hippo Zone could probably join a Discord call with me, and we could probably squash the beef if he was willing to, because in all honesty, I genuinely don't have a problem with the dude. But anyway, Anyway, guys that is gonna wrap it up for this video today if you did enjoy it feel free to drop a like on it i would greatly appreciate it and with that said i want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and for all the recent support as well and i will catch you guys next time